Hello everyone, welcome to Girona, our home city. Today we have a different story, which has professional and personal matters. So, it has arrived a Ferrari 355 GTS straight from Monaco for a really well-known race driver, which name is James Rosita. So, let's continue and see what's coming next. la aventura a ver aquí tenemos petición del cliente de reparar salidas de, de, de aire asientos parte inferior del tablier sí, que, que ya tiene la, la piel sí, desenganchada de, sí. y lo que es la parte del cenicero está de aquí y este botón que tiene que no se le aguanta yo creo que es el soporte de aquí detrás que tendríamos que mirar de, vale. de repararlo que desmontar vale. toda la, consola, que desmontar la consola exacto luego Alberto pensemos también sí. la, la, la agarradera el, vale sí. que también está enganchosa Vale, la, también la hemos, hay que quitar la palanca. Hay que quitarla, sí, sí. No, el, el, vale, el, sí, vale, sí. desmontamos el, el interior. Mira, os voy a enseñar el interior, cómo lo hemos dejado. Está desmontado entero, tanto los guarnecidos de la puerta, tablier, consola central y guarnecidos de la puerta izquierda para intentar sanear todo lo que son pieles y, y lo que son todos los botones aeradores que se quedan gomosos, que es muy típico de, de estos Ferraris de esta época. Y, y nada, ahora estamos haciendo toda la selección, que es lo que estáis viendo ahora, de, de todo lo que se va a restaurar de plástico, todo lo que se va a restaurar de pieles. So here she is, yeah. completely stripped down. Exactly. She looks very different to when I, I loaded her in the truck to it be is. sent to you. It is. And now, yeah. Amazing, and now eh? she's no longer red, she's uh, gray. gray. So this is how we're going to prepare the car. So it yeah. has the primer. Actually, the car is really worked in the red when it was red. We really okay. worked to have a plain surface. Yeah. After this, we put the primer. So with this primer, we can work it as like a mirror, as you've seen in the other parts. Yes. And from here, we, we just, you know, go ahead to have the mm. best finish ever. And no, it, it looks amazing. I mean, even just to see how, how you've got it so smooth already, I mean, Yeah, and it, it just, just follows all the lines of the car perfectly. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I noticed that uh, there were some parts that, that I pointed out to you on photos before yeah. with the inside the door seals, yeah, inside and, the door seals like and everything is already... So in here you completely reworked it, was, it, it and was, yeah, it was totally rusted. Yeah, um, there was some rust around this yeah. area, I think, yeah. from where the water was coming in yeah, from exactly. the, the roof and... Yeah. And coming so down. This has the epoxy treatment, yep. which uh, stops, we can say, the, um, the rust. Okay. And now this the primer just to get the yep. proper finish because this goes black. Yes. Even on top you have the. And the you have the sides. Exactly, the sides. Side, side, yeah, exactly. The seal. Also, also yeah. here, so you don't see anything here, but at least it's repaired and done. Yep. There, here also it was a. There was a little. Uh, little 
A little, yeah. Uh, exactly. yeah. I don't know how it happened. The previous owner, I think, had yeah. somehow put some weight on that. Yeah. Maybe he me. put a girl on there, I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> so now it's gone. Yeah. Already. So the bumper. So yeah, this is the so. most impressive piece of work because <laughs> the previous owner, unfortunately, I negotiated well for the price, so had removed part of this. This part was completely gone. Um, I think he'd caught it on uh, parking or something like this and completely ripped this off. This is the biggest challenge I gave Manel to try to, to fix the front bumper. I'd been told by other people it wasn't possible to fix and I needed to buy a new one, which isn't very possible with a 26 year old Ferrari. So uh, what's amazing is I actually think that this part was the original part when we first looked at it. So it's, it's an amazing job. Incredible. It looks it looks absolutely perfect and uh, I'd say it even looks better than this side which is the official official Ferrari part yeah so, so we, uh, we try to it's amazing we try to mirror mm. from one side to the other side so giving the same shape same because actually we were losing even you know where to fit yeah, the mounting plate it, exactly so yeah. we even lose that so we had to mirror and that what one. process did you do to to rebuild to this that secret Secret process. Okay, <laughs> I like that. I'm fine with that. <laughs> An amazing secret process. So, well, just fiber. As the as the the, the bumpers are yeah. from fiber, we have to repair it with fiber. So, yeah. fiber epoxy until give the the proper shape, which is the procedure as it was before and now. Then, right now, incredible. I am managing to get the ring for my girl, who okay. will become uh, my wife. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> secret. So, I, I have the place here in a fr friend of mine in Girona that yeah. makes by their own, their own. Yeah. so they, they will be producing it mm -hmm. for her. And I want, when I go to test the car, I yeah. want that your car will be the one being... You can next. take her for the test? Yeah, and, and then drive to I the will, shop? Yeah, exactly, and then I will ask her to marry me. That sounds perfect to me. If you want it. I would love that. That sounds really so perfect. It will be part of exciting. <laughs> part of your life. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so that sounds good, man. <laughs> good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I want to ask Anna, my girl, to marry me. As you know, James said yes to the, the question because I wanted to ask him if he allows me to go with the car and ask her to marry me. So now, we're gonna go with Jordi, a good friend of mine, who has a company called Rosic & Co. And we will do together the design of this ring, the Engage ring, which I am really, really, really uh, amazed because he was doing some sketch showing it to me. Unbelievable. And you will see with the next video, the symphony, the way we work, with the way we treat the cars and the way he treats his rings, his jewelry, because actually it's unbelievable the similarity that we have between cars and jewelry, handmade at home in Girona and with passion. It's unbelievable and I want you to see all the whole process.
we are going to visit Jordi because he just phoned me that the ring is ready. I'm really, really excited. So let's see what's inside. Bon dia. Hey, yes, Jordi. Sí, sí? All right. Jordi will arrive from the garage where they produce their jewelry and he will show us the ring, which I'm really expecting. So here is Jordi. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, Jordi. Bon dia. ¿Qué tal? Buenos días. Bueno, a punt, som-hi. Vull veure'l ja. Ok, Manel, I hope that you're really fancy to find that moment that it's really, really amazing. And here it goes. The half-band diamonds with the white gold and all handmade it here. Yeah, sure. I understood that it's a special moment that you have to find out. Really, really nice. She will. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. You can see all the details, the prongs that it holds the diamonds. They're really uh, uh, adjust because this way uh, she she doesn't feel anything about wearing that ring. Mm -hmm. uh, it would not uh, stick on anything. It just it will hold really good the diamond, and you only see how it looks, the, the diamond. Yeah. I'm just trying with the, that design, I'm just trying that you see only the diamond and how beautiful is the diamond and, and, and give a lot of a strength of this, this powerful and pure diamond. Really, really amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Well, let's yes, and I will just clean it yeah, before I put it inside the box because, hands, yeah. yeah. And this way, she'll find the ring <laughs> perfectly. And this is the typical engagement uh, box that you have to just open it and ask the question. Let's see, because as, as I told you, we will do it with a very special Ferrari. Yes. And hopefully she will say yes. <laughs> so yeah, we are working hard in the car. At the same time, in the video, um, your customers, our customers, they will see uh, which is the, the, um, the relative work that we do. Because yeah, yeah. Your, your work is handcraft, our work is handcraft made up here in Girona, made yes. uh, by hands, and, and they will also enjoy it. Uh, by the way, as we are really happy to be, so this Saturday will be the Saturday, and see if Anna loves that which I'm really sure she will. And um, well, as, as yeah, we are here in your house. So can you explain us and to all of them also a little bit of your story? What do you do? So where do you sell also? So okay. then we can Perfect. introduce also okay. your company. Yeah, actually I come from a, a jeweler family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, my father used to be a, a jewelry maker and a watchmaker. And just I, I, when I, I was uh, growing up, I just grew up with uh, all the tools and all, the, all the, the parts that you can find in a workshop, a similar history of, of your, story, your family. So. Uh, and I just fell in love when I was around uh, 14 years old. I started to, to work hard with the skills and I, I, have a really, I had a really good teacher, my, my father. And also my brother was a jewelry maker. Mm -hmm. It was uh, 10 years older than me and he could just uh, teach me all the, all the tricks, all the uh, yeah, all the tricks and everything. Uh, and after I studied in the um, uh, University of Barcelona because I really love the stones. I studied a degree in gemology. And also in the meantime, I was uh, coursing the, the, the gemology in the university. I started uh, the uh, um, um, design course mm -hmm. with, uh, for just so jewelry. So you can say that all the designs that you sell are yes. your designs? Yes, so all are my designs. from anywhere else. So no. It's your yeah, design. It's my design. And Actually, after... this is why I choose Jordi's choice, because this is unique. So yes. the Anna will, has, will have the only one in this world. And you see that's incredible. No, okay. 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 Okay.
Well, we have the engaged ring. This Saturday will be the Saturday. So I let you with the video of preparation of the engagement. Well, just take a seat. Thank you. And welcome home again. Ah, it's great to be back. <laughs> the, the home of uh, the best restorations in the world. Thank you for that. Of course. So, well, how is the car feeling? And how is everything? I mean, when you receive the well, people it's, it's, saying... You know, it's been an amazing process to have followed uh, the, whole, the whole journey of the restoration. Mm -hmm. Through, uh, through, through what you did, from all the things that we discovered about the car, the, the hidden things. I mean, when you take a car from mm -hmm. the mid 90s and you try to restore it in an original way, the, thing, the small details that you were able to find, the parts you were able to replace with original Ferrari parts well, following really this through okay, was exciting. But then to see the finished product, to see how beautifully done the, the handwork was, the fact that all the nuts and bolts were done, it was just done to perfection. Um, it was better than I, I could have dreamed of, in all honesty. Thank you very much for that. Really nice work. <laughs> Why? <Wise. laughs> I mean, uh, you know, you have to give praise where, where it's due. Um, there's, there's been so many things. I mean, I, I fell in love with, uh, you know, with the Ferrari 355 many, many years ago, yeah, um, when I was beginning my racing career. And then to have finally bought one, and to have restored it in, a, in such a beautiful way. So where, where you have been racing? I mean, for the guys that we will, they will look the video. So James Rosita, where, sure. when starts racing and where you are now? So for me, I started racing uh, when I was 18 in Formula Renault, uh, then in Formula 3 when I was 19. I started in Formula 1 as a test driver. Already I had my first Formula 1 test in 2004 when I was yeah. just 20 years old. Um, and then I was a test driver for about seven years in Formula One. I then moved to Japan and raced in Japan for Toyota, racing in Super GT, Super Formula, raced also in the World Endurance Championship, raced in America. Um, for Andretti, managed to, to have a career where I, I got to racing all the great championships all over the world. Right now I'm racing for Peugeot in, uh, in Hypercar in the World Endurance Championship and mm -hmm. for Le Mans and also working for DS in Formula E. Yeah, so it's such a long career. That's it's been a long career so far. <laughs> it's covering, covering the globe and, uh, yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, the roots of why I have a Ferrari 355 actually goes back to the beginning of my career. Mm -hmm. And it goes back to one gentleman called Ian Clarkson who uh, at the beginning of my career, you know, uh, we couldn't afford to go racing. Uh, so I needed to get creative in finding yeah. the, the funding to, to race. And I met this gentleman, Ian Clarkson, who, who was playing golf with my father. All right. we then, uh, I then uh, had a lunch with him in London near his mm -hmm. office and spoke to him about my dreams uh, as a 17-year-old, 18-year-old uh, young man. And he was very supportive. He had a, th a 355 Challenge car. Cool. Yeah. And he invited me to come to coach him at Donington Park. It was a circuit that I knew a little bit from, from the beginning of my racing mm -hmm. career. And I turned up there and I went out and I drove his 355 mm -hmm. Challenge car. I got to when feel the car, feel people. what it was like, how it was yeah. behaving. And then I coached him for the day. And it was at a time when the 360 had just come out. Mm -hmm. So there were all these guys there with their new 360s and, and Ian ended up being the fastest driver of the day in his 355, fast okay. and all the 360s and this for him were, was amazing. Yeah. But for me, what was incredible was following that up, he then came to the next race in Formula Renault 
and he then offered to financially support my career. So I've had a very long career, mm -hmm. but none of it would have been possible without Ian Clarkson, right. and none of it would have been possible without a Ferrari 355. <laughs> and that's why so I ended up having one. It was, yes, it was, you know, it's, uh, it's my dream car because yeah, of that, because it, it made my dreams become reality, honestly, this car. So it's why it means so much to me and why it means so much for all the work that you've done here. So then I have to give you the notice and the big. <coughs> okay. Set. So thanks to you that you let me your appreciate 355 so I could ask Anna to marry me. Yes. And she definitely say yes. So it was a Congratulations, really, by the way. <laughs> a really um, amazing experience for, for us, for, for her. And, and well, to say thank you for that. And I know that this car is that special for you that I want to give you something they have in the office. So if you hang on okay. a second. Nervous. What's he going to give me? <laughs> so you will never imagine that you will have such a thing in your home. Wow. So I let you open. Okay. Just on the side. No way. Yeah, just that. Oh my God. Be careful, it opens. I'm... You can remove the... I'm speechless. That is <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful example. You know, it's oh my God. your car. It's my car. It's your car. It's really my car. With your number plates on it, and it's made on purpose to have uh, the roof. It's handmade one for you. That, that's, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm speechless. You know, I've been looking for a, a one of these. I looked all over the world. I even went to the, the car show in Paris and was looking for a model of a 355 and so I couldn't find it see. anywhere. Let me open for you. So you have the plate that it also has registered the ATEC. Yeah, the uh, ATEC number. number. And then Just in case you guys can't see that. <laughs> So everything opens, everything has the details as same as your engine, so everything is painted and wow. repaired as, as yours. That's truly, truly incredible. So. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank no you. Problem. <laughs> thank you for making uh, one of my dreams come true. Thank you to you to trust on us. So, well, the F355 chapter that uh, it will be in YouTube of everything that we recorded of your car, the procedure of uh, the ring and everything. So for people to see uh, our work, the way we work. So here we have a customer that had the experience and well. I think it's beautiful that you do these videos and I really hope you guys love it and enjoy it. And you know, all you guys that are passionate about classic cars, restorations, and living your dream, this is a great place to do it. Well, mate, thank you very much. Thanks.